So in today's YouTube video, guys, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite assault rifles here in Modern Warfare 2, which is the Chimera. Now I have an updated build here after the Season 4 Reloaded update. So if you guys are new, enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with notice on so you don't miss any more videos. But anyways, guys, let's hop into it. So getting into our first attachment, guys, we are going to start with the Slimline Pro. Now I feel like with the Honey Badger, the Iron Sights are not the best, and I feel like it makes the weapon jump a little bit more. It could be a placebo, I'm not really sure, but honestly, I feel like the Honey Badger does perform a lot better. With a red dot sight, you're not getting as much visual recoil and everything so we are going to be adding this on for our first attachment here now for the tunes that we're going to be using we are going over here and we're going to put this at 2.07 so it's going to give us less visual recoil and also give us the most accuracy and then for the aim down sight speed we are going to knock this over a little bit at 2.34 so we are getting a little bit more aim down sight speed which will help us be a little bit more aggressive now, for the laser, we are going to be adding on the VLK 7MW laser. Now, this is going to help with aim down sight speed, aim accessibility, and sprint to fire speed. We're aiming down sights faster, we're more stable when aim down sights, and we're also shooting faster off the sprint to help us be a little bit more aggressive, have that run and gun type of play style, and that's what we want for our build here. Now, hopping into the tunes for this attachment, we are going to move this over a little bit, and we're going to put this at 41.49, and we are going to jump down for the sprint to fire speed, and we're just going to move it up a little bit at .37, so we do get that triple tick on the handling, so we have the most handling, we have the most sprint to fire speed, we have the most aim down sight speed now, and it's going to make this build really nice in those close quarter gunfights, you're aiming down sights lightning quick, you're shooting so much faster off a sprint, and I guarantee it will help you get more kills. Now, we are going to jump down to the underbell, and we're going all the way over here until we get to the vx pineapple grip now i mentioned this in the iso 45 video yesterday i like to use the bruin warrior grip but finding out that the pineapple grip is so much better for that recoil steadiness this is probably going to be an attachment i start using a lot now we have hip fire accuracy hip recoil control which is good and then we have that aim walking steadiness and recoil steadiness so with the honey badger at those medium and far ranges our weapons can be more steady easier to control which help us get more kills at those longer ranges more accurately now, the tunes that we're going to be using for this, we are going to put our aim down sight speed just a little bit at 0.35. We're not going to change anything on that left bar, so we don't need to change anything there. Now, we are going to jump down to the ammunition type, and we're going to be adding on the overpressured plus P rounds. This is an attachment I've been love using here lately. It's just going to help you be more annoying in those gunfights. You hit your targets. They flinch more. It's going to be harder for them to hit you, so you want to add these on. And then for the tunes here, we are going to put our bull velocity just a little bit over at 6.14. So we're getting a tiny bit of range, but also helping our bullet travel faster in air to our targets faster. And then for our damage range, we are going to bump this up just a tiny bit at 0.51. So we're getting more damage for our build so at any range you're not going to have any troubles and then getting into our final attachment we are going to the rear grip and adding on the d37 grip this is going to help with recoil control just helping the weapon be a lot more calm and it's going to be a great combo with the pineapple grip without recoil steadiness and recoil control so at medium and far ranges you're not going to have any problems and then for the tunes on this we are going to put our sprint to fire speed at about 0.34 and then our recoil steadiness we are going to put it at about 0.55 it's going to give you the best recoil steadiness and sprint to fire speed but overall guys this is my update to build here for the chimera here after the season 4 reloaded update so give it a shot let me know in the comment section what is your highest kill game or did you drop any nukes but guys thank you so much for watching the gameplay we got today we were absolutely cooking you guys will love but anyways guys i hope you enjoy there we go there's a good one i swear i am so blind dear lord there's three give this chimera a shot here now we're not still getting the best frames because they like the whole like frame issue is still a thing. So that does suck. But we just have to see what we can do, you know? There's a guy like right here on my left. Oh, okay, I do have resupply on, so that's gonna be nice. Hip fire. Get out of here. Give this a shot. Yeah, but let me know in the comment section if you guys are still watching. Like, what has been y'all's go-to assault rifle here lately? For me, I would have to say the Chimera because, I mean, it is one of the most nostalgic weapons of all time. But still, I do think that the Honey Badger is one of the best weapons here in this game. Gotcha. Alright, we got the Advance. That's good. And I am not running the larger magazine. I'm trying my best to get away from running only, like, large magazines. Because I do feel like it's pointless sometimes, so... Depending on the weapon, of course, but... Alright, let's go ahead and give this VTOL a call in on this side. I don't want it to kill me. GG. Alright, let's get the scav packs going. 
VTOL should be going in aggro in a minute. Get knifed. Yeah, they actually fixed the game a little bit, but I'm still not getting like 110, 120 frames. Hate that, but what can I do, you know? I do want to keep the UAV just in case. Alright, we're on a 20 already. Yep. Let's keep playing aggressive, and I mean, I I think this is going to be a GG, honestly, so. There we go. They're spawning back on the other side. There's a triple kill. GG. I'm going to I'm gonna get this guy here, watch. Oh my god, I just... Dude, teammate, are you, are you serious right now? Teammate, did you really take my kill? That guy had a shotgun. We had to be careful. Oh my god. I'm like one kill away from an MGB as well. I'm going to just yunk that over. There we go. Just chuck it over. GG. And of course a shotgun. I feel like everyone's still trying to unlock that Guardian shotgun. I don't... I, I just... I don't know about it. I mean, it's nice, but is it something I can use, like, constantly? Lord, no. Let's chuck another one over there so we can get a kill. I, I guess my nades are just tickling them over here. Okay, well. They're going to be on this other side, I believe. Probably now. Yep. Alright, there we go. We're chilling. Get that dead silence in. Yeah, this build is really nice. I do like it a lot. Let's keep it up. We gotta watch out for the shotguns. These guys with shotguns are gonna be really annoying to go against. We do have a teammate also streaking up as well. Uh, what's his name? Bean? I'm gonna grab that, you know? Help a fella out, you know? I, you know, this guy is pretty bold running around with the Ballisk. I don't even think he has the right Ballisk build to even try doing what he wants to do. Chuck that over. Get a little stun check in there. Okay, nothing's going on. We are going to call that UAV in now. I should be fine running up this area. A little hedge, head glitch cheese. All right, let's play aggressive now. I do want to save my uh, advanced UAV and everything. I should be able to. We're on a 20. I mean, this... I mean, we're guaranteed this now. All right, let's go ahead and call that advance in now. You're not even showing up on the mini-map. How does that make sense? Make that make sense. All right, we should get our new cure in the next, like, few three kills or so, I think. I'm guessing. There's Kingslayer, level 817. I do need to hurry up and get to level 850. Okay, nothing yet. Teammates are getting a lot of VTOLs. Nothing yet. You can't get on that ladder, teammate. Enemy. There it is, the Juggernaut. G. G, my man. There we go. 67 kills. Yeah, we gotta hurry. We gotta tee up here. Hold on. There we go. We got someone complaining. That's good. We got content. We got content. I might start playing a little bit of Search and Destroy. I might start adding some Search and Destroy, like, in the... I don't know, though. And of course, Splatter kills me. I think that's the, I think that's him that killed me in the last time. I'm not sure. All right, 73 kills. We gotta go big here. We gotta go big. Yeah, this is easily one of the best builds I've made with this weapon. Let's go. I do need to get another FTAC Siege build out as well. I'm dead. Yeah, I got stuck. Yeah, it's going to be a GG. I guarantee it here. 
Come on, bro. The RPK haven't been. I haven't seen that in action in a while. 79 kills. Come on. We got a double nuke. You have to give me something. Stun check that. They're over here. I think. Hope not. We gotta. We gotta get one of our UAVs up in there. All right, this guy's here. He's chilling. There we go. Okay, we're at 88 kills. There's five people on the other team, so we really got to hurry up and get our 100 kills. Let's give this a reload. Yeah, headshot. Got to love those headshot multipliers. 50 operator kills, headshots. Okay, we got that. I do need our... Bro, uh, saying, man, come on now. All right, we're at 94. There's a there's a kill. That was good. Right, I saw the shadow. The snaps are in. I think they might be. That's embarrassing. That's actually really embarrassing. 97. Come on, come on. Give me three more. Give me three more. One. One more, one more. Give me a hundred. There we go. GG. At 101 now. 103. Okay, we are going to have to call this nuke in now. We have to call the nuke in now. MGB. GG. There we go. I want to hear what they say. Like, dude. Yeah, he's a cheater. Yeah, he better than me. He's a cheater. That's what he's gonna say. Let's see their reactions. We you have to hear reactions when people get a nuke. Let's see, 106 kills though. I mean, that's nice. They don't say anything, do they? Oh wait, wait. mics are on now. 106 kills. We got 25 seconds in hill time this time. A little bit better than last, but. Hey, 106 and 8, we'll take it. Nothing, nobody's saying nothing. Let's go, GG.